What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. And today I'm going to share with you the number one principle that I follow as a trader. And in my humble opinion, I believe it is paramount to your success as a trader, especially if you're the trader that scales down to lower time frames or typically is an intraday trader. Now, this can be applied to swing trading, long term trading, but today, I want to delve deep into the understanding of this number one principle. And what is that principle? Well, that is understanding that if you're a trader that wakes up in the morning and trades two, three, four hours a day, even if you trade 23 hours a day, you are typically only trading a single candle. So what I want to do is I want to share two examples with you, one on pound JPY and one on Aussie dollar USD. And I want to illustrate to you how you can approach your chart so that you're trading based on behavior and then you're identifying the sentiment that supports the bias of that behavior. Typically, I'm a behavioral based trader that uses technical analysis alongside that. So let's delve in deep and look at GJ first. Now, when we're looking at pound JPY, we're looking on the daily time frame here. The candle that I want to look at is this one here. Now, we can look at any candle. It really doesn't matter, and I can illustrate that in the moment for you. What we're doing here, guys, is we are of the understanding that if you come to the charts, let's say 8 a.m. UK time, the time that you're typically going to be trading for that day is two, three hours, all right? It might be eight in the morning for two, three hours. You might come to the New York session for two, three hours. But whatever the case, it's very unlikely and I mean very unlikely that there is a trader out there that is trading 24 hours straight. So during that period of time, when you're trading, you are trading a single candles movement. Why do I say that? Well, the duration of this daily candle is 24 hours. So if you're trading on Monday, the 26th of February, which is the date of this candle here, and you're trading for two or three hours, you are trading between the range of that candle's open and that candle's close. Now, notice I mentioned the word range here. If you're trading the duration from when it opens to when it closes, then you are technically trading the range of that candle's movement. But the question is, how do we take advantage of this? Well, what I want to do first and foremost is scale down to a lower time frame. It doesn't matter which one we're on, so that I can highlight where we're at. And we're on Monday, the 26th of February. Let's say you typically come to the charts at eight o'clock. So this is the candle close at eight o'clock. And then from, let's say, this point on, this is when you'll be trading. If we go back over to the daily time frame here, you can see where I've drawn this line. OK, this represents the time that you come to the charts at 8 a.m. in the morning. When you come to the charts at 8 a.m. in the morning, what you will identify is that the candle has created a bottom wick. And the current daily candle has now flipped bullish. So when you're looking at this, you will see a bullish candle. Now, it may not be a very large bullish candle, but it's a bullish candle. If you set your mind to the fact that once a candle has created a bottom wick and has flipped bullish or bearish, there is a very high chance that price will continue in that direction for that duration, the 24 hour period. Now, how it moves bullish or how it moves bearish is not under our control and, of course, very unpredictable, but that's the nature of our business. But if you can have that belief system or hold on to that belief system that at some point today, a candle will close bullish or bearish, and when you arrive to the chart, you can see that it's currently bullish. We don't need support and evidence yet. We can just see it's currently bullish. Then you can start your trading day with the bias that price will continue bullish. Now, obviously, that's not enough because we need support and evidence. But what we do understand is the first point. We understand the behavior of the market based on a single candle's movement. And why is it relevant? Because you're going to be trading during that period or that duration from the candles open to the candle close. What we'll do next in a couple of minutes is we'll go on to understanding the sentiment and looking for confluences that support the bias. But I want to say this. If we look at today's candle, which is... You can see here to the left, it's been open now for almost 13 hours, or if not longer than 13 hours. You can see that the sentiment of this market or the behavior of this market is bearish. From the candles open, it created a top wick, very small, but it created a top wick, and it has continued bearish. 
So when you come to the charts in the morning, if you see that this is the case, you are trading that duration of that candle. You can create that belief system, hold on to it because that's what you need as a trader. And then you can go down or scale down to lower time frame to look for the sentiment of this market's movement bearish. Now, if you want to add more confluences to this, you absolutely can. We can look at the daily chart here. We can see price has been pushing bullish for a very long period of time. When we look at this, we can see that price has pushed to the upside, which is a strong push phase. If you come to the markets today and you can see that price has flipped bearish, then you can add a confluence to that and say, well, the market very rarely continues to push without a pullback. So now we're adding confluences to the idea that this candle can continue bearish. And then you can understand, let's say, a development of a candle. It creates a top wick, and then usually it flips and continues in that direction. Now, I know there'll be some out there that says, well, what happens if it flips and doesn't continue in that direction and then flips the other way? Well, guys, we keep it very simple. We just classify that as a losing trade if you do end up taking a trade. Doesn't matter. But if you look and see what happens yesterday with the assumption that this will continue bullish, it did based on whatever evidence that you have here or whatever you decide to use as evidence or confluences. And let's say today we made the assumption that after it created the top wick, it's continuing bearish. Then that is a belief and an assumption that it will continue bearish. It has. You would have been completely fine. If you say this is going to continue bearish when you woke up and it didn't continue bearish and then it flipped bullish. Okay, whatever. You took a sell, it lost. We move on. But at some point this week, this month, this year, the candle will create a top or bottom wick, flip and continue as you can see from the evidence that is left behind. Let's move on. Looking at this, going back to the Audi time frame. Remember, guys, lock this in your mind. We have it in the back of our mind that the daily candle has now flipped bullish at the time we've come to the chart. The 7 to 8 candle has closed bullish. Now, it doesn't matter how you trade this. I need you to understand that all we're doing is holding on to this, the idea that the candle is bullish and will continue bullish. So with that being said, we're on the Audi time frame. What could we observe here? Well, we could observe that price has been failing to break structural highs for a very long period of time. Okay, we can even classify this as a downtrend, looking at the market in terms of the development, creating lower lows and lower highs. So we have a downtrend where price is respected. Before you come to the charts, you could see that. Oh, you couldn't see that. That's what was happening. And then when you come to the charts, you can see for the first time price broke above the downtrend trend line. Okay, so there's a behavioral shift, bullish. Remember, the daily candle is not bullish yet. When you get to the chart, it is. So the downtrend has failed. Price is broken above it. Now the daily candle is bullish. So I have this strong belief that the market will continue bullish. And I can see now that price has broken the trend line. So the behavioral, there's a behavioral shift from being bearish to bullish. Okay, great. Now, if price respects this trend line, this resistance, then clearly the behavior is not bullish. The sentiment of the market is illustrating that we are still bearish. We may not have a confirmation for entry yet, but we're still bearish. Okay, so we wait patiently. Another hour passes. Now it's nine o'clock. Wow, what can we see? But we know the daily candle is bullish. The intraday trend line, which was bearish, making lower lows and lower highs, has been broken. Price did not respect the resistance area. And as we attempted to push bearish over the past hour, price has failed to maintain that bearish sentiment, has finally broken above a level in the market where it's failed to break before and closed above. Okay, so how many confidences do we have there? five. Then we still have it locked in the back of our mind. This is the core principle, the belief that we're holding on to today. The market is bullish. Guess what? Price breaks above. Like everything is now starting to line up. So if the candle is bullish, price can continue bullish. Price is broken above the resistance. It's broken above the intraday trend line. It failed at the resistance level, even though it did go bearish. The sentiment shifted from being bearish behavior, from being bearish in terms of its behavior to bullish, everything is just lining up. It's just, it's just all making sense to me now. Okay, that being said, well, what am I going to do next? Well, I'm going to wait to see if there is evidence of price respect in this level. So what do we classify this as? Well, if we go down to the 15 minute time frame, or no, actually, let's go to the five minute time frame on this one. And what can we classify this as? Well, look, from an intraday perspective, we've got it locked in our mind, the structure is bullish. Price is now making higher highs and higher lows. Price has finally broken close above this area. Now we can see prices coming back into this area. So what do we have here? We have a potential break and retest. Wherever you place your stop loss doesn't matter. And I want to make this very clear on this channel. I do not care about if you win or you lose because what we want to focus on, guys, is a process. And here you have it, a winning trade. Where's it stem from? Oh, yes. The daily candle is bullish. The daily candle is bullish. Then we got some confluences, five conflicts from the hourly time frame. And look, 
We continue bullish. We don't want to take a trade against the behavior of the market. It's like jumping in front of a moving train. But if we know the moving train is moving north and that's the direction we want to go, then we might as well jump on it. The worst thing you can do as a trader is assume the market's going to do something that it's already not doing. You want to maintain this behavior and then look for supporting evidence in terms of the sentiment of the market, in terms of the confluences that you add to the core idea, and then take the trades. If we wanted to, we can go to the 15 minute time frame. It doesn't matter where you do this, guys, what time frames you do it on. Let's say you're a breakout trader. You still have the supporting evidence from the daily time frame. The candle's bullish. Price is finally broken above. So if you're a breakout trader, you can say to yourself, well, look, price is finally broken out of the consolidation. We have a breakout, we have a close. And look, I have an opportunity here now to take this trade. Simple. Simple. Now you might say to yourself, well, what if it doesn't create a retest? It doesn't matter, guys. What you want to be doing in the back of your mind is continuing to remind yourself that the daily candle is currently bullish. So any support and evidence that you find in terms of the sentiment of the market, you have to go with it. If you have contradiction thoughts about price being bullish and bearish and bearish and bullish and bullish and bearish, then you're going to find yourself in a pickle. But if I have it locked in my mind that the sentiment of the market is bullish, then what I can do here is I can use my technical analysis, skills, ability, experience, whatever you want, strategy, it doesn't matter. This is a principle, not a strategy. And then you can use scaling down techniques, right? So let's say, fine, I didn't get the, the breakout, the retest. I didn't understand the sentiment here. I wasn't at the charts at the time. Okay, fine. We come to the charts and we can see, let's say price is push bullish. We anticipate price to pull back at some point because... That's what the market does. You know, I didn't make this up. The market pushes exhaust, pushes exhaust. We can see that it's exhausted. We can see that price is finally creating some sort of support level. Ah, oh, this makes sense. The current daily candle is bullish. The behavior is bullish. Sentiment of the market is bullish. If it's not going to go down or create a strong exhaustion and we start to see a support level, what does that mean? Well, we can go up. You might say to yourself, well, look, here is enough support and evidence. We have price pulling back. We have price making a double bottom. We have an area for price to break above. We can put our stop loss below this area here and we can look for a trading opportunity. OK, it doesn't matter. What's this? Let's just look at this one. Right. Something like this, wherever you put your stop loss. Or you can say to yourself, well, look, I'm not comfortable with this yet. I want to make sure that the market creates a pattern for me. Or you might say, I want to see the candle close first. OK, here we have a candle close. Here we have what we could classify as a double bottom, triple bottom, quadruple, whatever the hell you want to call it, right? Here we go. Again, should we worry? No. Well, the daily candle is bullish, so we have support and evidence. Price is finished, break the lows. We have a double bottom, triple bottom, quadruple bottom, whatever bottom. Price respecting support. Here is an opportunity. Again, understand this, guys. Where does this come from? The daily candle is currently bullish. The behavior is bullish. The sentiment is bullish. So what we're doing here is we're just looking for support in evidence to take these trades. Let's say you didn't get that trade. Well, look here, we have a break and retest. We can use scaling down techniques, let's say to the one minute time frame. We understand that we're locked in. Core principle is the fact that the daily candle is bullish. Okay, fine. It may look like a mess here. It, you may understand it, you may not. But look, price breaks above an area in the market from a intraday perspective. We understand that the daily candle is bullish. And what do we have here? Another trade and opportunity. All we are doing, guys, is trading based on behavior, technical analysis, understanding the sentiment, identifying the confluences, and then bringing it all together. Where has all of this derived from? Well, any strategy you trade will always be derived from a single candle's movement. Derived? No. Every strategy you trade will always be the behavior uh -huh, of a single candle's movement. So if you trade in the one minute, it could be a five minute. If you're trading the 15 minute, it could be a 30 minute. If you're trading the daily, it could be any time frame. If you're trading the four hour, it could be any time frame below that. And then we just keep it simple. Again, I want to make this very clear. All we are doing here, guys, is holding on to belief that what? The daily candle is bullish. Okay? The daily candle is bullish. And then what we're doing with that, we're simply looking for supporting evidence. That is it. Super simple. Super simple. Now let's take a look at one more example on Aussie dollar USD. And let's look at the previous day's candle again. So this is the bearish candle, which is Monday the 26th. Let's head down to the hourly time frame just to make sure that we get to the right point that we need here. Monday the 26th, and we come to the chart at eight o'clock. Okay. We understand that the daily candle at this moment in time, by the time we come to the chart, which is this candle close, 
going back to the daily time frame here, we can see with this, what is this line called again? This is terrible. The horizontal ray. We can see that the current daily candle is bearish. There is no point at this moment in time, guys, to assume that it's going to go bullish. It is bearish. Simple. It is bearish. Okay. Join the moving train. Don't jump in front of it. Fine. I see that. I go down to the hourly time frame. It's time for me to trade. I have it in the lock. I have it locked in the back of my mind that the daily time frame is bearish. Let's look for support and evidence. Right. First and foremost, we can look at this here. Price is in a downtrend. We're making lower lows and lower highs. We have a lower high here where price is showing signs of strong bearish sentiment. Price is failing to break above. We can always use this as a resistance level in the market. I've come to the market here. I'm not happy with the fact that price is in a push phase. So I'm waiting for the exhaustion. Okay, you wait for the exhaustion, whatever. However you take this, doesn't matter. Oh, I'm a break and retest trader. I'm looking for patterns. Okay, so we can look for price to come back to this level for a retest. We can look for support and evidence for price to break these structural lows. We could use scaling down techniques to look for entries in and around these areas here. Let's do it in and around these areas here where price starts to give us a better entry and a better stop loss. We can do whatever we want, guys. But just understand this. All we are doing is locking in our mind that the candle is currently bearish in this instance. And now we're looking for support and evidence. And we join the moving trade. We don't jump in front of it. That is the number one principle, in my humble opinion, that will change the game for you as traders if you just understand that at any given point in your trading day, you are trading a single candle's movement. Whatever you do, you can trade two candle theory. You can trade support resistance, principle-based trading. You can trade pattern-based trading. You can trade extended candle-based trading. You can trade continuation trade-based trading. You could trade trend trading. You can trade reversal trade. Oh, you can trade anything that you want, as long as you understand that. Just, this is the core belief that the candle is pushing bearish or bullish. I find the support and evidence, and then just trade. Even though this, in my humble opinion, is one of the most important principles you can ever apply to your trading, Never forget risk management. Well, I can say, guys, if you enjoyed this video, please smash that like button, subscribe, turn on notifications, and as I always say, continue to trust the process.